guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some posts that just came out in the last few days, which are definitely interesting and tease about what is going to happen in Season 8, because the photo that we're going to be discussing is actually of an actor on The Flash who is in their trailer, and they are pretty much prepping for a scene that is pretty much confirmed. And so we also have something else to discuss, which is that Michael Keaton is back as the Batman and he is fully suited up in some new set photos, which I will obviously leave in the link in the description below. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is this, and this is in regards to The Flash. And the cast member that posted a photo was in fact Candace Patton, who plays Iris West, and there was also a filming notice put out, which was released on Twitter by a couple of people, that The Flash would be filming at a cemetery in Vancouver. And so this photo right here that you can see on the screen is of Candace Patton's Instagram, she posted a photo of her black dress that she is wearing, and the caption is, Till death do us apart, but you first, and then she put, hashtag funeral attire. And so, like I mentioned before, this is in her Flash trailer, and so this would have been her getting ready, prepping for a scene, and probably waiting to go to location, because they were filming on location, as was confirmed by the posts around Vancouver, which claimed that the Flash would be filming in a cemetery which they had previously used for many funeral scenes in the past. Obviously, the Flash and the Arrowverse and superheroes as a whole, always the threat of death is always prevalent because they are facing off against huge villains and so there's always that threat of someone dying and we talk about this a lot and we theorize about who's gonna die next because that's just a big thing within the comic book world because it's the biggest stake situation that you can get and so with Candace Patton posting this photo it 100% confirms that there is going to be a death in the Flash season 8 but whose death is it gonna be is the big question. I think with Eddie Thorne returning there is definitely a high chance that maybe they film the episodes that he's in then he ends up dying, which could link to what Candace Patton's hashtag was in the Instagram post. But just take this with a grain of salt, this is a far-fetched theory, but what happens if Eddie Thorne comes back because of the timeline changes, and that's where we get these different versions of Eddie, because he's like, all discombobulated, and he is supposedly only going to be in like, three episodes. They said three episodes minimum, so there is potential that they filmed more but don't want to reveal exactly the amount of episodes he's going to be in. And so the caption that Candace Patton posted said, Death do us apart. And normally they say, Death do us apart at weddings, and people who are partners say that. So, with Iris and Eddie being partners from the past, could it be that she's referring to that, and that is Eddie Thorne's grave that they are looking at, because Eddie has come back, He's alive, but he ends up dying, maybe for the team. Or are we going back to like some sort of flashback from the past and we get to see Eddie Thorne's funeral, maybe from like a different angle? Could that be the case? I think it's a possibility that I'm definitely not going to rule out as of right now. Obviously, that's a bit far-fetched. But if we're talking something more grounded and more in reality, we would probably look at main cast members because that always shakes up things the most, especially when it's someone that people love and that the characters love and feel extremely connected to. And also, I remember a while ago that Eric Wallace said that they wouldn't be killing off as many people, so I wonder if it is a flashback. I think that's definitely a possibility and there is a chance that they aren't killing off anyone new and the fact that we're doing time travel stories we're doing timeline changes it's definitely possible that a lot of this could be in the past and we just don't know because we're just looking at set photos and it's shot in the present day but then later in the edit they're going to make it look like they're in the past but if we go through the list of characters obviously we have Caitlyn and Killer Frost could they be on the chopping block? I don't think it's very likely because Danielle Panabaker is a core cast member of the show and it doesn't look like she's gonna go anywhere I'm pretty sure she's gonna stick around as long as Grant's gonna stick around unless something drastically changes they're not gonna kill off Joe because they just did a fake kill off Joe moment in Armageddon, so I don't think they're gonna do that again, but for real, I think that would be like way too harsh to do it suddenly once again. Obviously, Iris isn't gonna die because she's at the funeral, 
I don't think there is a high chance that it will be Barry because Barry will always come back. So who could it be? Well, there's Chester, Allegra, Cecile. I guess those people are a bit more likely because they are less important to the show and I'm sorry to say that, but they are. Like, they are kind of supporting those core members of the team and obviously now they're becoming big members of the team so maybe it'll be even more shocking if they die as of right now because they are becoming big. So, if it's anyone else, like, that's why I mentioned Eddie because Eddie isn't that connected anymore and he's only returning back for a bit. Someone like Ronnie Raymond dying again could possibly happen if he sticks around, but I don't know if Robbie O'Mell is in Vancouver right now, because I'm pretty sure he shot all of his scenes a long while ago. And the only other person that I can think about that isn't like officially a Team Flash member, but occasionally shows up is someone like Sue. Sue shows up and, you know, she's kind of a Team Flash member whenever she feels like helping out or being around. And so I guess that could be another possibility for her being on the chopping block. But this time round, I honestly don't have a good guess because I don't think it's going to be any of our core characters. So I'm guessing it's one of the less important characters. Or is it someone that we just meet, you know, in the next few episodes and they are introduced for the sake of killing them? I don't really see that as a big possibility. So I do think it's either a flashback and it's back in the past. And it's a death that we've seen, but we're seeing from a different perspective because we are doing these time travel stories and we're having our characters go back to different spots in time. Or it's someone completely unexpected, like Eddie Thorne. So, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. But the next thing I wanted to talk about was this. This is a post on Reddit, on the Flush's Reddit. And so it seems like Eric Wallace is going to be directing an episode of The Flash this season. And so I'll leave a link in the description below to it. It's not 100% confirmed, but he is listed as a director. And I'm fairly sure he hasn't directed any episodes yet. Because if you guys didn't know, Eric Wallace sometimes writes the episodes. He used to be kind of like a lower producer. And now he's the main executive producer of the show. He is the showrunner. He comes up with most of the story ideas. And other people write it for him. Unless he feels like getting more involved. And then he gets credited as a writer. Because he writes some of the episodes. But an executive producer and a showrunner doesn't normally direct the episodes unless they are incredibly involved. And I think out of most of the other showrunners, maybe excluding Todd Helbing, I could see him directing if he wanted to because he's very involved with Superman Lois. I think Eric Wallace is one of the most involved executive producers in the Arrowverse and I can see him directing and I believe he's a member of the Directors Guild of America DGA as you will see in this photo so I definitely think it could be true and I'm not surprised at all but it's exciting to see I really want this to happen because I want to see if it turns out to be a really good episode because he's going to be so in control of a lot more in say this one specific episode that he could potentially direct if it does turn out to be true I definitely think it would be a proper show of his talents if he is a good Flash showrunner and if he is a good creator or not. So I'm looking forward to this, I hope it actually happens, but let's move on to the next thing. So like I mentioned earlier, we are going to be talking about Michael Keaton as Batman. So he is back and some photos that have been taken from the set of the new Batgirl film. I'm not going to be including the photos in this video only because of copyright issues. If I include them, there is a high chance that this video will be claimed. However, I implore you at this very moment to go in the description below if you haven't seen the photos, and I'm sure if you're active on Twitter or Instagram or Reddit, you've seen these photos around already. So I'm running on the presumption that most of you guys have seen it, but if you haven't seen it, click on the link in the description below. There is some photos that were taken by Alan Fettis. I think that's how you pronounce his name anyway. It's on the set of the new Batgirl film. And Batgirl is coming out on HBO Max, it's going to be a big deal, and I can totally see it actually being released theatrically as well, because it's going to be a huge deal. We've got Michael Keaton suiting up as Batman for the first time in a long time, properly out in the open. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to suit up as Batman in the Flash film, because we know he's been filming that, and obviously they wrapped production a while ago on that. However, here he is out in the clean open, we got some really good photos, and man is it exciting. I don't think the suit is exactly the same as the old suit, 
it is kind of altered and changed a bit and it's a bit more modernized although it still has the classic logo the classic cow it looks the same it looks very similar and i'm just so excited to see him properly suited up so he's actually doing a scene with commissioner gordon obviously of the dceu and that is jk simmons who we've seen in the snyder cut justice league and now we're seeing him once again in the batgirl film I'm very excited for this film because I think it has a lot of potential and especially because of this inclusion with Michael Keaton's Batman and it raises really big questions about who is the Batman of the DCEU. Is Michael Keaton now becoming the official DCEU Batman since Ben Affleck has kind of left the role? Yes, Ben Affleck is going to show up in the Flash film according to rumors, but it seems like after that film he's not going to be Batman anymore and it seems like Michael Keaton is going to continue this and as far as we know Robert Pattinson's version of Batman is not set in the DCEU, it's set in an Elseworld somewhere and so it's disconnected similar to Christian Bale's Batman and also you know the Joker and stuff like that. So it's interesting that we get so much Michael Keaton this year because you have to remember I believe Batgirl is actually slated to release this year along with The Flash. So we're going to get a double dose of Michael Keaton which is going to be insane. Like imagine being in a cinema, in a packed cinema of DC fans and Michael Keaton comes on screen as Batman and he's there for a long time. Everyone will lose their freaking minds. It will be our version of No Way Home with you know Ben Affleck showing up as Batman and then Michael Keaton just randomly showing up out of nowhere and being in most of the film it's going to be absolutely insane and I can't wait for all of it so that about does it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching a reminder that you can go look at the photos of Michael Keaton in the description below because they are so exciting and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel and tell us your thoughts and opinions about all we talked about today. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified about my videos. I try and upload daily. Obviously, once in a while, it's every few days. But you can also click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.